So hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to talk just a few minutes about uh, a presentation I'd like to give on two West Virginia Vietnam veterans. Uh, the first is Tom Bennett here, uh, a Morgantown native who went to Vietnam in uh, 1969 and died serving as a uh, non-combatant medic. Uh, the second is uh, Dave Evans, who's a Cabin Creek native, who went uh, to Vietnam in 1970 as a 17-year-old in the Marines, lost both of his legs and spent the rest of his life uh, going to conflict zones, treating soldiers, children, anybody who needed a prosthetic device for a lost leg or arm. So both of these are remarkable characters. Uh, Tom had the perfect middle-class life in Morgantown, Little League Baseball, very active in clubs. And in fact, uh, in, at WVU, he was so active that his grades suffered and he was forced to drop out and thus lost his deferment. He entered the service as a CO, conscientious objector, and became a medic and went to Vietnam uh, all the while uh, expressing his uh, opposition to the war. In early 1969, he was involved in two actions, one in which he, the commendation read, he braved intense enemy fire moving 120 meters across open areas to give aid and comfort to his wounded comrades. 120 meters. So that's, he moved the distance of a football field to care for his uh, comrades. Two weeks later, he was in another action and the company received very heavy fire. And once again, he quickly sprang to the aid of his wounded company comrades. And in doing so, uh, he himself was killed. So Tom, for this, uh, received the Congressional Medal of Honor. Here he is with his mother, his stepfather, and his two brothers. Uh, with President Nixon. So he is one of, I think, three uh, medics in the history of, of, of the US military that has received this, this honor. So Dave Evans uh, grew up on Cabin Creek and enlisted as a 17 year old in the Marines and was sent to the area in a, in a province called Quang Tri, which is right near the, what was in the demilitarized zone, right near the border with North Vietnam, very heavily mountainous area. In December uh, 1970, he was a squad leader, 18 years old at the time, he was a squad leader. And he led his men into an ambush. Uh, six were immediately killed. He and he lost one leg and the other was so shattered that he later lost it. The Navy Corpsman uh, lost an arm and they were airlifted out to a hospital ship. He was airlifted to Philadelphia and he spent a year recovering. Uh, at, by this time, he, his opinions about the war had strengthened and he was, became very active in the Vietnam veterans against the war. So he had two prosthetic legs. One day uh, when he went to the firm in Charleston where these were adjusted, he became fascinated by the science and the engineering involved in this. And he actually became an internee of this company, the hangar company, later went to uh, NYU and got an advanced degree. And uh, the rest of his life was, was spent traveling to war zones, to conflict zones, fitting people with these prosthetic devices. So here he is in El Salvador. Here he is with some children. And in his later years, he not only fit people with these devices, but he trained local people. Uh, this, this is in the Democratic Republic of Congo. So a remarkable guy. He died in 2020. And at the end of his life asked where he had been, he couldn't remember, 
but these are some of the countries that he could recall where he had served people who had lost limbs. And then ask how many people he had helped, uh, and he guessed 20,000. So these are two pretty remarkable West Virginians, and, and it's, it's right that we uh, celebrate, celebrate their lives. So thank you.